Hi guys. I want to wish you all of the best of happy new of the new year. And today, I can't believe it, it's the last day of 2020. Um, I'm looking forward to a better year. I hope that 2021 will be a better year right now. So it's a new year, a new month, and a new day. So, so let's start fresh. Let's leave 2020 behind because it hasn't been a good, the best year uh, due to COVID. And yeah, so just so you guys know, I'm just making some chili right now. It's just on the pot. I'm simmering. Um, I'm transferring to uh, Athabasca University. I'm starting in May because I find that I'm a McEwen. Um, I had to, I, I've been on academic probation for like a, a year now and I'm a, a, a year and a half now, and I'm just so sick of it. And that means my GPA was a certain was below two point oh. So, and. Yeah, and I think if I haven't failed one of my courses, this wouldn't have happened. So I failed physics, and then I had to retake it again. So, um, and then I passed. So yeah, and and also I find I found it very difficult to focus on my studies while while do it during like COVID because I'm just constantly stressed out about COVID. And I also have other commitments. I'm building a business, and I'm also doing still doing um selling cutco knives. So I'm very busy with that. So. Um, so yeah, so I'm taking a semester off. Can't wait to start at Athabasca University. It's definitely going to be a different ball game for me. It's going to be all online. What's nice about Athabasca University is I will get more flexibility. So I'll have six months to complete all um, three courses. So like one, two or three, or even a full time course, they, they give you like time to complete it, which is nice. And the good thing is I'm not I'll, by myself. I'll be studying independently, but I'll I'll have support uh, and I'll be assigned a tutor. I'm very sad about leaving McEwen. I'm gonna miss some um, some of my professors, especially uh, John O'Connor, and it's gonna be a different. I'm gonna have to get used to it. It's gonna be weird. I'm definitely gonna miss in person classes because I miss the, I miss I miss the in person lectures. I'm gonna miss that for sure. I miss interaction, interacting with my professors in person. So this is going to be different. It's going to be a new game for me. I'm taking second year calculus. And introduction to proofs was a huge learning curve for me. I struggled. Even, the second even after the second time I took it. So the thing is, I've learned to embrace the, the struggles. Cause that means I've grown. So if I have, if I didn't struggle, I I wouldn't be growing. And I was so used to getting like high grades in, in junior high and high school, so I wasn't really growing. So sure, I studied hard. Sure, I got good grades, but was I really growing? I really wasn't. So until math ten, until math ten C and math and science ten, definitely was a huge learning curve for me. So. Even even university level, level mathematics, that, I would say that was the biggest learning curve. Um, so just so you know, I'm I'm again I'm making chili. Just so you know, Rob and John are fine. Hi Rob, hi hi John, and this is my newest fish here. This is Adrian. Unfortunately, George the second died uh, four months after I got him, so he's buried somewhere else. Um, He's buried outside in a pot of soil. So, yeah. At least he won't be stinking and stuff. And, and I hope that you guys will look forward to the new year. And hopefully by the middle of next year, COVID will be in the past. Because I'm just so freaking sick and tired of COVID. I hate COVID so much. I'm sure you guys do too. I hope you had a good Christmas. It's been uh, different this year because we couldn't have large gatherings at, at my family's house. Just it could only be my parents, my sisters, and my and my cousins from Vietnam. We couldn't have like twenty people over, so we had to limit the gathering size. So that was different, but despite COVID, we had a good Christmas. I got chocolate and I got a, a math shirt. My mom, she got an iPhone 12. I'm really happy for her. And guess, I guess who gave my mom an iPhone 12? My dad. 
Makes me want to get an iPhone 12 now. I got my sisters um, and my cousin a Christmas card and $15 Tim Hortons gift card each. I give him my friend two of my friends so one of them i gave a mcdonald's gift card which is 25 dollars. the other one i gave a, a 50 dollar visa gift card so i um i still managed to buy um a few few um christmas gifts but but i had to stay in budget i didn't want to spend um too much like most people do on christmas they spend like a whole lot of money on christmas presents and I didn't want to be that, that kind of person that, that overspent, so I still wanted I still wanted to keep in budget, but still get get a Christmas presents for my cup two friends and my t my two of my sisters and one of my cousins. Again, happy New Year! Look forward to thousand to two thousand and twenty one. Make make the um, next year your best year yet. Make it better than than it is this year. Bye, guys.